I'm so, so sorry. Oh my God. I just looked at my YouTube page. It has been three months since the last time I watched Bleach Fails with you. Where have I been? What have I been doing? And why is this piece of hair sticking up. Why did nobody tell me? What have you been doing without me watching Bleach Fails? I worry about you guys. Also, hi, beautiful. I didn't forget today. So I'm back today, baby. I'm back for you. I'm back for us. And I'm back for Miss Manny Quinn. Brittany, to be exact. We're about to watch some Bleach Fails. I'm ready to see some crazy shit happen today. And I'm ready to cry a little bit. You go over there and you stay over there, okay? Let's do it! I don't know what it is, but I really want to bleach my hair. Oh, sorry. I literally just pressed play on the video and I am startled because her hair is black dyed. Not colored either. Like, I feel like the word dye makes things feel more extreme instead of colored. Like, it colored my hair. No, she dyed her hair black. Like, that is blue black. Oh, it's gonna take a lot to get this thing blown. <laughs> I want to bleach the top or like the front section of my hair. <laughs> this is going to be very, 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 very interesting. She is bleaching the most fragile part of her hair. That front hair gets all the damage, it gets all the heat, it gets all the sunlight, it gets all the tension from ponytails, it gets brushed the most, it gets just ruined. We should have a day where we commemorate the front hairline of our heads because that hair does a lot for us. How is your front hairline doing? Let me know in the comment section below. I feel bad for the front hairlines. I feel like they get ignored and people just treat it like the rest of their hair when it's not, it's unique hair. Anyways, I digress. She does have hair that's more on the fine side so it might be a little bit more easy to lift. She doesn't have that traditional like coarse, thick, super dense Asian hair that we see often. I feel like it's more of a like finer texture and a little bit thinner so that'll work out in her favor. But it's still going to be a task getting this hair extremely light. But let's see if she can pull it off. My guess is no. I have bleached my hair with Korean bubble dye and then I re-dyed it black with professional dye at a salon. Oh, it's professionally colored. It's quite beautifully black. It's very even, I must say. My hair has grown out a lot, so maybe this half section is still dyed, but the top section is all new growth. Ooh. She has new growth all on the top of her head, black color on her ends, that is permanent. So she's gonna have to treat the root area much different than the end area if she wants even results. It's sometimes hard to tell the difference between the colored areas and the non-colored areas, but they cannot be treated the same or else you will end up with orange ends and really blonde white roots. And that's not cute either. I got the volume 20 and 30, my Wella's bleach powder. And then I also have the toner T14. That's all? You got? I kind of just want these sections out. I'm going to make the line more straighter with my fine tooth comb. Oh my God. <laughs> I almost forgot to tell you. Oh my God. You are beautiful and thank you for being here. Sorry, you were just looking back at me while I was watching this video and I was like, whoa, <laughs> that's a beautiful person. But I get nervous and I have to like do this and do, uh, look at you and do, ha, ah, it's like a lot. My job is oh, was so hard. I mixed the bleach. I don't know if there's enough. I'm gonna just start small. Thank God she's only bleaching a tiny bit of her hair because that is not enough bleach for even like a test strand, I swear. I don't know what they make those packets for, honestly. Like who needs a little like thing of bleach clean? Put a ton of it on, just ba ba ba, like toothpaste, over and over and over itself. Ooh. Hold on. That is a very random and precise section at the same time. You took a weird like vertical section from the back that's like paper thin. Why there? We could have started anywhere. And often you guys, we like to layer things on top of itself. So if you start from the bottom, it's much easier because you can layer the foils on top or you can lay the bleach on top of itself as you go up or start in the front and work your way back. But most of the time we don't do the back to the front. Okay, that's a lie. I do that all the time, but that's a foiling method and it's a lot harder. If you know how to foil well and you're a professional, Sure, start from the back and go forward because the front hairline is the most fragile. But you know what? I try to explain things in the most simple terms I can and make it user-friendly. This is not exactly what a professional would do. I don't even know why I'm describing this right now. You're not supposed to go to your roots first, so I'm gonna leave like two fingers, then bleach this part of my hair, and then wrap it in foil. Oh! I committed. At least she is doing this section precisely and can actually tell what an inch from the scalp looks like. Because most of the time people just layer the hair on top of itself and then an inch turns into two inches, turns into three inches by the time they get to the top of the head and it's a mess. 
I'm just gonna flip that over like that. Okay, that works for sure. Honestly, she did a pretty killer job, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the only thing is that there definitely was not enough bleach on that hair. I need a lot more, please. May I have some more, sir? Like, give me some more. You gotta be careful when using gloves that you do not wipe the bleach off the hair while you're trying to distribute the bleach. Because sometimes people apply it and they go whoop, 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 and wipe it all off. You gotta just kinda be gentle with it in a way. Also, do not squeeze the foils too hard or else you're gonna also wipe off the bleach. It's 7.53. I just put all the bleach in my hair. It's looking pretty good. Her application is actually quite nice. Not perfect, but nice. Nice enough to win the gold medal? I don't know. But nice enough to look nice for me to think it looks nice enough? Yes. But I've just been chilling here watching Vampire Diaries. Speaking of Vampire Diaries, why does everybody always say I look like Damon Salvatore? Is that true? Do you think so? I don't know if I see it. Comment below. Oh, and if you think I look like Damon, give this video a like. Maybe I am Damon. Oh my gosh. Y'all. Do you see that? I see it. And I, yeah, I have a lot of comments. Definitely need to add more bleach at the bottom right here. I could tell when she was applying that bleach that her ends were dry and did not have any bleach on them. You need it layered so you cannot even see the hair fibers underneath or else it's gonna just slip right off and not color the hair. And you're gonna end up with this situation. But that is so light, hold up. Uh, no. Ooh, she got those dark roots, that blonde midsection, and the really dark ends. This is gonna be hectic and difficult to fix. What is she gonna do? And then just add, first off, more bleach right here, cause I did not add enough. No, don't do the root. Your ends aren't even bleached yet. You gotta make the whole strand a nice yellow color before you then go in on the root. I fear right now. Tell me why I look like a rat. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is so patchy, but it's okay because this was only the first round of bleach. The tops of my hair lightened up really well, but the bottom for some odd reason didn't. What? <laughs> She's like, whatever. Yeah, it's chill. It looks good. It looks crazy. Your hair is fine. I'm gonna let my hair dry for a bit and then I'm gonna go in with a second round of bleach. Whenever anybody says a second round in these DIY videos, I get a little bit like, Ugh. oh no, it's gonna get really bad. <laughs> it's looking better. Still squeezing the foils, still worried about the bleach coming off of the hair strand because of the squeezing. You just need to fold them. You don't need to like squeeze them hard together, but should be fine. I don't know. What do we think? By the way, you guys, I'm like sort of maybe almost at 10 million subscribers. I'm at like, I don't know, eight something. Can you tell your mother, your brothers, your sisters, your friends, your friends, friends, your cousins, your cousins, friends, your cousins, children, everybody to subscribe to me because I cannot even fathom the fact that I might one day have 10 million YouTube subscribers. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Be cool. Help me out. This is how my hair looks now. I really like how light the top got. The bottom just did not pick up any of the color. And I think that's because right here is where the old dye is. What the f it looks no different. So I'm just gonna cut it off. Ow! <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, just cut it off. I understand that there's probably a better solution than to cut my hair. I think the better solution might have been to use color remover first on the colored parts of your hair. The cutting off is definitely an option. Honestly, I don't even know because that is a lot of hair to cut off. Like it's all the front of her hair. What you're gonna do is just cut all of that orange shit. It's gonna look really, really weird. I'm a little nervous about that. Like that. Not too much. Not too much. Proceeds to cut off the entire front of her hair. Oh, this is getting crazy. I mixed the toner and volume together and I'm just gonna apply this generously to my hair and then let it sit for 30 minutes. Now we are toning with, I think like T14 or T18. Let's see what happens. I don't even know what's going on at this point. It's been some time, but I realized I never ended this video. I have re-bleached it one time because it grew up so much. Okay, the results were interesting. I don't know if it's like my favorite tone of blonde for her. I would like something a little more cool toned and you can Definitely still see those orange bits around her face, which is also not my favorite thing ever. Thank you for that roller coaster ride of craziness. But yeah, try again next time. Mm. Sorry, do you hear that? I didn't hear anything. 
LA has been on lockdown now for around three to four weeks. I am really bored. Every video that starts off with I am really bored or I don't know why I'm doing this or I have no experience doing my hair. Things go really wrong really quickly and it gets really sketchy very fast. And a double process root touch up is so difficult to do right. If you overlap a little bit, you're gonna have so much breakage. I thought it would be fun for me to learn how to bleach my roots at home for obvious reasons. <laughs> had ordered two of these cream lighteners. To me, it was just appealing for me to not have to like mix the powder bleach with the developer and like I was worried about like not being able to do that right. I don't often use cream lightener, but I'm 99.9% .9 positive you have to mix it with developer because developer is not just combined with it. But we're gonna find out in a second. I thought that this would just be easier, but it turns out that you still have to mix this with developers. <laughs> okay, good. Because I was like, wait a damn it. They don't just make a product with developer. Developer always has to be mixed into the formula separately. Cause it's like a chemical reaction, exothermic reaction. So after all of this stuff had gotten here and I was ready to bleach my hair, I had to place another order for like a big bottle of 21 developer. When it got here, it was this big. Oh, this is bad. I had to go pick this one up. That's like a normal size. And I did 20 volume. My hair usually lifts really easily. And I have like pretty light hair to begin with, contrary to what it might look like. And the well a T18 lightest ash blonde toner. All right, we're going with the classic T18. Should work fine for her. Oh, it smells so good. Did you guys like huffing when you were little? Did, <laughs> like, did I like huffing? Did, did we like huffing when we were little? I don't know if that's like in the sense that <laughs> yes, actually. Sharpie is 100%. I'm probably gonna start right here with this section. So I'm using this mirror to kind of see what I'm doing, but I think that you guys have a pretty good idea. I don't know why Brooke gives me the vibes that she's good at everything. It feels as though she could do no wrong. Is that crazy? I don't know. I feel like she's gonna be able to pull this off really well. Keep in mind, bleach does expand, so I am doing my best to not like get it on the hair that's already blonde because I don't want my hair to fall off. I literally can't see what I'm doing. Let's get a mirror behind us or something, or like get a three-way mirror. They sell those, by the way, guys. They hook up on your doors and it opens and it's a three-way mirror. That's how I cut my own hair. But Brooke, babe, we're doing a bleach and tone. A bleach and tone. I said a bleach and tone. A bleach and a tone without even looking, you're going to end up overlapping on the hair strands and it's gonna be scary. Unless you have some crazy ability where you can just bleach the back of your head and do your roots perfectly fine without having a mirror behind you, which I feel like is gonna be the case for some reason. <laughs> she is struggling. She's like, how the fuck? Do I see the back? Even when you're doing a three-way mirror, everything's backwards, so it's even difficult to like maneuver that. Doing it without a mirror is also even more difficult. So we're really just putting the difficulty level up here. I had a full-blown meltdown because I had a really hard time doing the back of my head. I ended up just letting the whole back process without doing the front just so that I could wash that out and then I wouldn't have to worry about it like literally melting my hair off while I was doing the front. So I washed it out. If you notice it is a little bit yellow. That'll for sure go away when I do the toner, so I'm not super worried about that. Uh, hold on. I don't know if we can, can we just zoom in on that? When she put her head down and she showed the back, there was definitely a dark spot in there, and I don't love that. Let me just go back to that real quick. Oh, Brooke. There is orange and there's black and there's blonde all mixed in one back there. I don't like that. You definitely have some spotting going on and some banding and hopefully not any breakage, but probably. Very much not a good start, though. I'm gonna do the front now, which I think will be definitely a little bit easier. And if it's not, girl, I will never be doing this again. Please don't ever do it again. So I got my little buns wet. So I have to dry them because I don't think you're supposed to bleach wet hair. Yes, make sure you don't apply bleach onto wet hair unless you wanna do that on purpose as a bleach bath, but none of you guys do bleach baths right. So just stop with that too. I used to get like a full head highlight because I liked to have a little bit more of a root. Obviously my hair grows in really dark, so I didn't like to have to get my hair done literally every three weeks. Brooke, you're really worrying me with how thick your sections are. Thinner next time. Paper thin sections if we want to get that really precise, really white white blonde. This is gonna probably be spotting and it's probably gonna be a little yellow. All right, so she's working around the head and she is doing everything decently. Obviously she's not a hairdresser, guys. I'm being hard on her, but that is some dry ass 
Ouch. Let's put some moisture in that lightener in the form of developer, please. Because that sh is like chalk. And she is trying to color her hair with dry ass. Bleach. Mm -mm -mm. No. Usually when you have dry bleach, the bleach doesn't process your hair enough and it ends up being yellow. So she might end up with yellow hair. Except her roots are pretty blonde to start with. Like I know they don't look that blonde compared to the blonde blonde on the rest of her hair, but I think her roots are quite light. So she doesn't need a ton of power to get those to that bright blonde she's looking for. Hopefully it, it like ends up being okay. I don't know. I think I did a really good job on the front. Obviously presentation isn't like a hundred percent, but I definitely did the job you can see it's starting to lift over here honestly i don't envision this looking absolutely terrible but there is definitely still time for this to go bad i don't know why i expected this to like come out good that is horrible oh my god i genuinely was like oh like sh she's got it in the bag she looked so confident and everything was going kind of okay this looks terrible that's because the bleach was dry as f when you were doing it no i'm not gonna lie this is pretty much worst case scenario literally what the f i'm supposed to do two parts developer and one part Toner, but honest to God, I think that we might need a little more than that. Wait, she's just going straight in with the toner now, which might be fine because her her hair is very light and all the spots are really, really close to her root. The 20 volume from the toner might lift up those darker pieces and it might be okay. It's just like not ideal. Oh God. I don't have like time to waste when my hair's already turning purple in the front. Oh my God. Just slapping it right on there, huh? This is a terrible disaster. Is this gonna turn purple? Should I check? Yeah, it is. Honestly, when I decided I was gonna do this, I really only considered two possible outcomes. One being that it was gonna come out perfect, and the second being that I was literally gonna go bald. And she went bald. And that's the end of that video. Oh, um... Like, what the f*** do I do? You don't do much. You just cry and you call up a really great hairdresser and they fix it for you. And then you pay thousand dollars for it to be fixed. This is not great. I fixed it. I woke up this morning obviously in a panic because I still had orange hair. I basically just put coconut oil in it all the way from root to tip and I just let it sit for a couple hours. I just had to mix up more bleach and go over the same hair. I think I got most of the orange out. I had to tone it again also. This is what it looks like. You can kind of see in it. Overall, I would rate this experience 4 out of 10 because even though it didn't turn out bad, it was definitely a really high stress experience. I pray to God there's not a next time. Okay, it definitely looks wearable. To an untrained eye, it looks fabulous. To a trained eye, if I'm being really critical, I still see the darkness at her roots and there's still some spots that are missed. But good enough, just not great. That whole thing was a little bit too scary for me. Next time, don't do it at all, ever. Again. I have one goal, and that is to get this freaking pink out of my hair. <laughs> Sorry. I got so scared that I, you know what I mean, that I almost. This is gonna be a problem. Ink is hard to remove, and it's gonna be a lot to make this not become really f damaged and fall off of her head to the ground, and then you'll have me crying and you crying at the same time. But let's see what happens. Oh, she's using Guy Tang's color remover, which I love. I talk about it all the time. It is so good. It will remove everything. So if it doesn't remove this, I will be surprised and I will call this user error. I was looking for the cheapest hair dye I could find, which happened to be the Eero Eero. That hair dye is literally infamous for staining your hair pink. Oh, perfect. The plot thickens. People either stay away from it because they know it's going to stain their hair or they actually dye their hair that color because they know it's going to like stay there. So the most impossible hair dye to lift out apparently. Black roots, fine and fragile hair that has already been pre-lined. We are in for a treat. So I'm just gonna fully saturate my hair with this color remover, just the pink parts. I'm not gonna do my roots. Okay, you're not doing your roots, sure. You can't take a clump of your hair and put color remover on it and expect to not touch your roots. Once you take a clump of hair, the roots start at all different heights. The head is rounded. You gotta take sections horizontally if you want to make it precise and not touch the root. Otherwise, you are going to touch the root and this color remover is mixed with developer. So it is gonna lighten your natural color and it ain't gonna be cute. It's probably gonna be yellow or orange. Yeah, it's still pink. 
obviously. It's definitely still pink. You should do it again or leave it on for like an hour. I think you can leave it on for up to 45 minutes to an hour. I can't remember the exact directions, but you can definitely leave it on more than 20 minutes and you need a lot more than that. You can also mix it with like 30 volume. I think she makes it with a 20. 30 volume is gonna give you more power and more removing of the color, but it's gonna inflict more damage on the hair. So it's kind of a toss up. It's definitely lighter than it was before. I don't know. I'm just gonna do another round and hope that it helps. Also, I fear that it was because of the fact that she was applying it in clumps instead of sections and the top hair you can tell got lighter than sort of the middle of the hair, which was in the middle of that clumpy section. Application is important, guys. <laughs> Captain says, I gave up on the health of my hair at this point. It's already damaged, so I might as well fully commit. Awesome! <laughs> so my hair's like a million different shades right now, and I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what to do. We're gonna try the color remover one time, and then we're just gonna move on to bleaching my hair. The first two rounds of color remover, I used 20 developer. This time, I'm using 10. So she's bleaching those pink parts with 10 volume. It's a fine idea. I think 20 volume would have been also great because it would have just gone faster, probably just lifted out quickly and cleanly. I like some power. Some people like a slow burn. I like a fast fuck me up sh type of thing. <laughs> but this is a good idea. I th she's definitely taking her time. Like there's much easier ways of doing this, like doing all the roots, pulling the bleach through, but she's doing it kind of the slow way, which is fine. <laughs> is what I'm left with. It's like all right for what it is, you know? It looks okay. I was expecting a lot worse, sorry. Um, So this is fine because now if you tone it, you can definitely get those last pink bits out and it'll be good. But will we do that? I don't think so. We never do things right around here, do we? It's just like weirdly like peachy. Oh, peachy is not good. Oh, we gotta get that out. My roots are a little a little funky right now. <laughs> oh, and we got banding. The hair is now multicolored, slightly pastel pink, dark roots, and it's damaged. And somehow she's gotta pull it all together. And <laughs> I just don't know how I'm gonna do it. This has been a hard video for me, guys. This has been a really hard one. I don't even know what I am anymore. Please get me out of here. I'm using 20 developer for my roots, so hopefully that will like soften the impact. Okay, so she applied 20 volume with bleach to her roots. Please tell me she didn't overlap on the existing bleached hair or else we're gonna see her entire hair snap and fall to the floor. It already looks like it's damaged as fuck and snapping. My roots, I feel like I could go a little lighter because I just feel like it's still a little brassy. Yeah, so you could go a little lighter. They're orange. What is that? You think it's a little brassy? It's fuck orange oh we're not redoing the roots we're just going in with toner yeah sick t18 let's see if it doesn't do what we want it to do because nobody ever uses it right my hair is pretty much done i just need to tone it my hair looks bad right now i know it looks bad i know it looks like it's like dead because it is girl that hair is fossilized yo for real that sh is fossilized i'm gonna start using that your hair is gasping for air it's like please do not put any more developer on me. I'm going to fall to the ground, please. And she's like, F you. <laughs> You're gonna get some more, darling. Okay, the toner is fully in my hair right now. Biggest thing I notice is that my roots look different than my ends. You don't say. Maybe that's because your roots were orange. Your ends were, um, how do I describe them? <laughs> Nearly falling off your head because they're so pale white. Oh. This is how the hair turned out. Hold on, <laughs> when did we end up in Twilight <laughs> all of a sudden? What is this filter? I literally feel like I'm watching Twilight all of a sudden. It's so freaking yellow compared to the rest of my hair. Oh, here's the real results. Your roots are still yellow because they're gonna stay yellow if you don't bleach them out of yellow. I just have to bleach it again. There's there's no way I can pretend that this is, does not look bad. Third round of bleach, let's do it. Let's just do it. <laughs> I think it looks a lot better than it did before. Definitely better, but still yellow. The real test though is I'm going to tone it with some purple shampoo. The application of that purple shampoo was shocking. <laughs> if you're trying to balance out your roots to your ends, because your ends are already white silver, let's just only tone the top of your hair and not the bottom so it evens out. Or else the ends of your hair are gonna continue to be more toned to like a more silvery gray tone. And then your roots are going to look weird still because they're only gonna be toned a little bit compared to the ends. Does that make sense? Yes. 
toned on the top, but now it's overtoned in the middle. I'm gonna do a baking soda and shampoo thing right here. I know I should probably just leave my hair alone. And her ends turned purple because you put purple shampoo over silver hair. Purple kids not yellow. And if you put it over silver hair, it'll make the hair more silver and more purple because there's nothing to cancel out. You know what I'm saying? It's bothering me so much. So we went from pink, spent all this time taking it out and ended up with purple hair. Yes! <laughs> We did it! That was a f hell of a roller coaster ride, and I hated every second of it. So, thank you for making that video. Well, the only word that comes to mind at this point is horrifying. All of those videos were horrifying. Hated every second of it, but loved watching it with you. And if you haven't checked out my ultimate frizz control spray called Super Gloss Ultra Frizz Defense Spray, you should, because it'll literally save your hair and save your life. You can shop with the link right down below, and I made that product just for you, so you can have smoother, glossier hair than ever before. You can also now buy X Mondo in Canada and the UK. And if you're watching this at some other point in time, then probably a lot of other places as well. So check if your country is listed in the description box right down below. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye beautiful.